Mr. Wade here and Mrs. Crime. She's over there doing her thing. Uh, today, we're out here doing our video on... Now, in life, you have people that do things that are terrible, murderous, uh, just in general. But, you know, you have... Hint, the burning bed theory, the burning bed law. You know, sometimes things can happen and you can eventually end up being just extreme circumstances cause this event for this person to do this. So this is done to this person, this is done to that person, etc. So today's story, we're gonna talk about uh, a female name Charity Lamb So stay tuned <laughs> Now on the story of the subject matter I was talking about about Miss Charity Lamb I was trying to do a relation of how just people do things unexpected. They do things that are just way out crazy. But sometimes a situation can make a person do something that is out of the norm or it could be something that's totally in the norm. So, let Mr. Wade break it down to you of the story of the day of Charity Lamb. The time was 1857. If I'm wrong, I'm definitely well posted the date. Now, you got a wife, you got a husband, and you have, at the time, five children. So, this is during the time when Oregon had the Oregon Trail, when people were coming from different locations. This couple came from a Missouri area. And they come over here with a promised land. I think they got like 300 and something acres of land. Husband and wife. Okay. Now the husband, he was very good with his hands, of course. Land building, respectable man. Okay. So one day, this is a charity lamb and her five children, uh, husband and wife's children. They were having a normal day, from what I can take by the story. And what happened was, it was dinner time. Now, it's dinner time. So, mom is preparing the meals. The meals are ready, right? Okay. So, everyone's set at the table. And the husband... You know, Mr. Lamb, he's at the table and you got your five children. Four is a little kid that was maybe a couple months years old that the mom charity was holding in her hands, you know, as, as parenting moms do, right? Okay, so she's holding the baby. So I guess she prepares the meals. She fixed the plates. Everyone's at the table. Now I'm just setting a moment. Stay tuned. So, they're eating, right? Now, Miss Charity, the mom, loving wife, loving mother, she goes and gets a, an axe, a handheld axe, right? This is back in the day, 1854. She decides to walk up behind the husband and not once, but twice, chop her head, her the head of her husband in the back of the head twice with an axe. Wow.
so the question is why did she do this so after this happens the cops come they called the cops some other name back then I'm going to look that up. But they called the police. They came out and investigated the situation. They found Miss Charity Lamb about maybe less than a couple houses over smoking a cigarette with her and her neighbor. They found her at a neighbor's house smoking a cigarette after this had just happened. Hmm. So, of course, Miss Lamb is arrested. And... Actually, her 19-year-old daughter, I don't think she was 19, but she was definitely between 15 and 19. I definitely post her age. She was arrested as well. Why was the daughter arrested? Hmm. Wow. Now, they both go to jail. Now, the thing is that mother and daughter go to jail. Now, mom is the one that actually struck the father or the husband in the back of the head while eating dinner at the dinner table in front of the five children. So why the daughter go to jail as well? <clears throat> well, the story thickens is that there was a guy that was coming through the town during the Oregon Trail days that was apparently, they called it wooing the daughter and the mom promising them to go to California and make a life not there so is that the reason why Charity Lamb did what she did to the husband huh plot thickens now these days they didn't have age limits that you can like put kids to testify in court I guess and also too I noticed that the jury of the case was all men because females back then could not be part of the jury crazy crazy times right wow so in this murder case the daughter goes to jail so i guess she was part of the plot but somewhere she was arrested before and took into custody before the mom the story didn't talk too much about her daughter, but I definitely will post that on here to, you know, add some brief understanding of why they arrested the daughter as well. Not because she was sleeping with the guy that was wooing, they say back then, wooing her and her mother. Got to be something else. Maybe she was part of the reason why the mom got the axe and did what he, she did to her husband. So basically, they're saying that she was in trial. Uh, the trial was like, it was quick. You know, it was within about two weeks to a month later on the exact same date. You know, just a uh, different month. And uh, basically, the jury decided that she had no right to have crime of passion. That wasn't back then. There was no reason for her to do this even though this was happening to her there's no reason for her to walk up behind her husband and axe her husband in the back of the head twice in front of her kids while eating dinner miss charity lamb now she ended up going to a psych ward 
and that was a place out here in Oregon uh, that was shut down years later and uh, her death date I will post that she died of course there of course but far as her birthday they were saying that it was unknown unknown of her birthday hmm So the birth date was unknown. Death, the deceased date, I do have that. She was buried at Lone Fir Cemetery. Me and Mrs. Crime has been there a few times, brought some stories to you guys. And um, unfortunately her grave and a lot of other people from the psych ward out in Oregon, that was covered up by other means of the cemetery of, but they have Nothing of a sort of proving her actual plot. I was doing some investigation to find that, but no of sort. So what Mr. Wade and Mrs. Crime did was, we found another cemetery we've been to plenty of times, and I decided to come out here, but well, we decided to come out here and propel this story to you guys about what happened to Charity Lamb. Her grave, I've looked for it, and like I explained earlier, is covered up in just plain land out at Lone Fir Cemetery. So we came here in this snowy day here, and um, out here in Washington State to show a footage of the cemetery and to give this story to you guys. Thank you for all the subscribers out there, by the way, to give a, a, a insight of the story of Miss Charity Lamb. Of course, she died, of course, inside the mental hospital. And to know that back then that the jury was all men, no women, females, at all because that was not of the sort back then things have changed a lot now and i think that due to the situation of what happened the abuse and everything she might have would have got a better outcome of the murder case than what she got back then wow now charity lamb she was placed in an all-male penitentiary or what you may call the house for the insane which was later demolished of course um, she was Oregon State's first murderess so she was the first murderess of Oregon State wow I hope you guys enjoyed our video presentation of Miss Charity Lamb. Uh, once again, she was the first murderess of Oregon State and uh, first female and have had life sentence over at the uh, penitentiary became uh, actual psych hospital and was later torn down. But thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for being subscribers to all new subscribers. Subscribe, we subscribe back. I'm Mr. Wade and Mrs. Crime. Thank you all for watching. Many more to come. Stay tuned.